Hello, my name is Benjamin Meyer from the Department of Gastroenterology at Klinikum Ludwigsburg in Germany. In this video, I would like to present to you our recent publication in endoscopy entitled Full Thickness Resection of Neuroendocrine Tumors in the Rectum. Rectal neuroendocrine tumors are subepithelial lesions with potential for malignancy, and depending on tumor size and tumor characteristics, either endoscopic or surgical resection is recommended. Remarkably, optimal endoscopic approach is still being discussed and not clearly defined. Conventional resection with EMR or modified EMR techniques is fast and safe but often incomplete as tumors arise from deeper layers than the mucosa. ESD allows for high rates of complete or block resection but might be associated with higher rates for complications. Additionally, the technique might not be widely available especially in the Western world. Endoscopic full thickness resection of subepithelial tumors is another powerful option for complete or block resection and the introduction of the full thickness resection device, which allows clip-assisted endoscopic full thickness resection, had a huge impact on the field of interventional endoscopy. In this context, our motivation now was to further examine endoscopic full thickness resection with the FTRD for rectal net. Our study is a retrospective analysis of the German FTRD registry, which had been created as part of a post-market clinical follow-up. The registry includes now over a thousand of FTRD procedures in different anatomic locations and indications contributed by 31 different German centers. In our study, 501 FTRD procedures were analyzed and 40 cases of rectal net were identified and further evaluated. Median lesion size was 8 mm, ranging from 3 to 25 mm. 15% of lesions were recurrent net and pretreated with EMR or multiple forceps biopsies. Before full thickness resection, endoscopic ultrasound was performed, and for lesions over 10 mm of size, advanced imaging was also available to exclude risk factors. Resection with the FTRD was macroscopically and histologically complete in all cases and full thickness resection was achieved in 95%. Median procedure time was about 18 minutes. Major adverse events did not occur. Minor periprocedural bleedings were observed in four cases and managed endoscopically. In one case, a technical problem with the FTRD was reported other adverse events did not occur. Short time follow-up 12 weeks after resection was available in 80% without evidence of a recurrent or residual lesion. In conclusion, this is the first larger study on endoscopic full thickness resection of rectal net using the FTRD. We showed that full thickness resection with the FTRD is a fast, safe and effective option for rectal net under 20 mm of size without risk factors. Due to its safety and simplicity, endoscopic full thickness resection with the FTRD might be considered as a powerful alternative to EMR or ESD for smaller rectal net. Summing up our data and the available evidence, we now suggest a size and grading dependent treatment strategy for rectal net. Herein, lesions between 10 to 20 mm of size should be FTRD or ESD resected, while smaller lesions should be resected by means of less invasive and less cost intensive techniques. However, Prospective comparative trials are needed to prove our suggested strategy and to better define the role of endoscopic full thickness resection of rectal net. I would like to thank all my co-authors, colleagues and centers who contributed to the publication and the FTRD registry and I would like to thank you for taking your time to watch that video.